Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to be buying our new equipment. I have a list here of all of the items. I have revised it and I have written down the category in which everything is in to make things a little bit easier. So in total, our machines should cost $436,587. We still have plenty of money to be able to um, run other stuff in the future. And plus, we also um, need a little bit of money to buy a building or two, as I would like to. So we're going to start off here. We're going to go into the tractors category. And we are going to find our first tractor, which is going to be in John Deere here. And our first piece of machinery is going to be the John Deere 7600 that is going to cost us forty thousand dollars we're gonna get that and then our next item is going to be a John Deere where is it a John Deere 8440 with dual wheels which is going to cost us a hundred and thirty two thousand seven hundred dollars now we need to go to the harvesters category And I want to just go like this. Get my frame rate super high. Now we're going to get this Inter Case International 1660 Axial, axial Flow. We're going to get with that with twin wheels and a 24 foot pipe. Now we'll go to headers. Oh, and that cost us $38,100. Now we'll go over here to headers. We're going to get the Case IH 3412 12-row 12 corn header for 41000 as well as the Macdon 35-foot FD75 draper with black, which is going to cost us $60,700. Now if we hop over here to, where is it, auger wagons. In here, we're going to get the John Deere 500 for $7,950. Now, we need cultivators. We're going to get the Sunflower 1435 for $15,792. This plows and cultivates. Oh, excuse me. Okay, sewing machines. We need the Great Plains. 3S3000 HD for $69,900. Oh, and our delivery space is blocked. Okay. Let's take care of that then. We're just going to move some stuff around in here. So we'll grab the 7600 here. And that does have a attacher joint on the back of it the combine which is good All right so we'll go ahead and we'll pull this out of here so this is going to be our main grain cart for a while until we uh, upgrade to a bigger one So, because I know I'm going to get asked, uh, the John Deere 7600, this is private. John Deere 500 grain cart, that is on um, fsasmc.com, I believe. Macdon Draper header, most mod sites. Uh, the corn header, obviously in game. Sunflower. Uh, cultivator, the 8440, and this, uh, no, the Sunflower Cultivator, the 8440 are both on the, uh, Facebook group, Old School FS, I believe is what it's called, I don't even remember now. Uh, the 1660 was just released on American Eagles Modding a couple of days ago, so that's where you can find that. Um, and then we 
get this hooked onto the sunflower. And get that moved out of the way. So the 1660, it does have a bit of a texture issue uh, where if you look at it at certain angles at certain times, the some of the textures show up black. Um, like on the main body and the feeder housing, those all show up black for whatever reason. Um, not sure 100% as to why, but I'm sure it's something to do with the fact that it's you know an in-game piece of machinery that's been edited. I'm guessing that that would probably have something to do with it, but I'm not positive. Uh, one cool thing about this, the stick is animated. I don't know if it's animated in the original or not. I really haven't used the 1660. Uh, not that I haven't really used it. I haven't used it at all. But uh, this is just a more American version of the Combine. And I really like it. So we're only buying the corn header. Um, if I do decide to do sunflowers at all um, in the future, this header will do sunflowers, so that'll work. Okay, then next up, the John Deere 7200 16-row 30-inch spacing for $19,950. Um, then over here in header trailers, yes, I am getting a header trailer uh, for the corn header. We're going to get this international header trailer for $4,995. And then last but not least, the Chevrolet C70 grain truck. We're going to get it in this nice dark blue for $5,500. That is all of our equipment that we need to buy. Um, so now the header trailer also in the, uh, the header trailer. Okay. Let me see. These three items here are all in that old school FS group. Um, this truck I just made, Oh, <clears throat> my throat's trying to get dry. Um, I made some minor changes to it. I changed the sounds and then the dirt skin on it. Otherwise that's what's in there. And then this is on mod hoster. Um, otherwise that is everything. So now comes the fun part of getting everything taken home. And to be honest with you, I think I'm just going to reset everything. I know that's not the most ideal way of doing it, but that's the way that I want to do it. So we're going to start with, we're going to do the 7600. And we'll do the 8440. And we'll do our cultivator wherever that is okay and then we'll do the Great Plains and that now I also want to put down a building like I said and I'm gonna put the building inside of this fenced area um, just cause it's, it's kind of a waste of space otherwise, really. Um, and we could use the storage space, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head over here to placeables, and go all the way to the end, and we're gonna get this 100 foot by 50 foot machine shed, and we need to rotate it, uh, a little bit. So we're gonna put that right... Um, I need to just see here to make sure that this is going to fit in the way that I want it. Okay, we'll put it right there. Now, we could use another shed. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. So, let's take a look here. Uh, not one of those. Probably not one of these. Machine hall. Oh, that's huge. That's way bigger than I need. Uh, we do have this barn, but uh, I think I'm going to go with 
Let's see, what's this look like? Yeah, we'll put down a couple of these, I think. No, we should be okay with just that that shed there, this one. So, we need to go ahead and get our doors opened up so that way we can put stuff inside right away. So I'm just going to open that door for the time because the other one, it takes forever to open and it like legs the game when you open it. So we're just going to stick to that one. Okay, so I think the shed that I had the vehicles parked in before, I think is where I'm going to make... Uh, or where I'm going to store most of these items. Uh, instead, so... Okay, so we need this tractor now. So, this is how it's going to kind of go. Just resetting a few items at a time. Uh, and then parking them as I go. I know it's not the most realistic thing to do, uh, resetting them all back to the farm, but it's kind of the easiest. Otherwise, this would turn into like a 45 minute, 2 hour video, and I don't want to be doing that. So, I will tell you that right now, I do not want to be doing that long of a video. Not so much just because it takes longer to edit and upload, but just because I can't do that long of a video at once. For my own sanity, I cannot do an hour long video at once. <laughs> okay, am I back far enough? I think I actually need to go ahead and do that. Just a little. There we go. So then we can close these doors because I'm not going to need them. So we'll just have to do some kind of moving around of equipment uh, as we need things, but it's nothing too major. See if we can find this and not clip into the tree here. Yeah, it's gonna spawn into the tree basically. There we go, now we got it. So quite a, quite a large change of equipment. And you know, we are still running some older iron uh, the size of our equipment has increased quite a bit uh, mostly in our drill well in most of our stuff I mean our sprayer is about the only thing that's the same our sprayer our case tractor and our augers those are about the only things that are actually staying the same So we'll back the Great Plains in right here, and then the John Deere will go in front of that, and then the sprayer will go in front of the cultivator. Um, and this should be it for this. And then we'll see if we can pack the uh, grain cart in there too. If not, we'll throw it up here in this shed. This doorway is just perfect to get in with this tractor. So I'm going to kind of back things in here at kind of an angle. Just kind of make them a little bit easier to get in and out with other stuff being in here. Uh, then things will be 
kind of okay. So some of you may recognize this tractor, uh, both as a farm sim mod and as a piece of real life equipment. Um, I'm not going to give away what I'm doing, so I'm not going to say a whole lot, but um, for those of you that don't recognize this, or just to confirm uh, the guesses of those of you that think you do know, this is, so this is an edit of the uh, John Deere 7800 uh, tractor that Ross W. Modding and Photography uh, had done up and released. He actually is the one that did this edit. Um, he made it into a 7600 and made it to replicate the one that uh, Travis from the rest of the story and how farms work, uh, the one that they have. Uh, that's what this is made to replicate. So he did a very excellent job. Make sure you go check him out. Uh, links to his YouTube channel and his Facebook page are down below in the description. Uh, make sure you go check him out and give him a subscription and a like. Um, he does a lot of cool projects and is a very good buddy of mine. So make sure you go check him out. Alright, so we got that there. So now we need to reset our grain cart and get that put in this shed. Oh, that's going to be under tippers. Oops, I already reset that. I want to reset this. Okay, so we'll grab the grain cart and get that in there. And that should be the last thing that we need the tractor for. So I guess I really didn't need to leave the pickup and the PJ sit down at the dealership, but... At first I wasn't going to just reset everything, but then seeing the size comparison of everything to the PJ trailer, I kind of uh, realized that there's no way I'm hauling all of this stuff with the PJ trailer. And to drive everything back would take ages so no thanks <laughs> I will just take the easy way and uh, reset things this green card actually fits very nicely on this tractor I mean it is a pretty little green card I could have I probably could have gone with like the J&M 875 green cart but we'll start off with this one and then we'll build up to like the J&M or you know, maybe some other medium-sized cart, maybe like a Brent V800 or something. Uh, I almost should have put the grain cart in before putting the corn planter in, but we'll maneuver around. We may clip through the corn planter a little. Ah, oh, man. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's put this in, then the sprayer. How about that? It's always the fun part of uh, putting a cramming a bunch of stuff into a shed is trying to get everything to fit. Actually, I think I'm going to put the sprayer between the planters and the disc instead because I can get it back in there a little bit farther then. Can't get this in there and then get the green cart to fit. So I should be able to back this thing up a pretty decent way in here. That should do it. Now we should be able to squeeze the green cart in there. I probably could get this planter back a little farther and over a little more. Kind of straighten it out a little bit. That'd give me a little more room. There we go. That should work. Now we should have no problem getting this green card in there. <clears throat> we 
should be able to get it in right here. Somewhat. I'm gonna have to go forward a little bit. We're gonna get it in here this time. And it's gonna fit just perfect. Cool. So now, pull this out of here. So that's the last thing that's going in this shed. Okay, and then let's just tab over here. Let's see, so there isn't anything else here that we need the tractor for. So we can go ahead and park the 76 now. This tractor does get dirty pretty fast, so it is kind of dirty already, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I mean, we'll be using it before too long, so. Okay, so now let's get the grain trucks in there. Oh, we got to get the case in there first. That way I can have all my tractors in a row, and then I can have my trucks in a row, and then the combine. And then I think I'll put the headers underneath of the silage, uh, silage bunkers. Then they'll kind of be undercover a little bit. I don't know, maybe I can squeeze those in here as well. I don't know, we'll have to see. Probably not, that might be a little bit too tight of a fit in here then. But in reality, if I wanted to go out either of these doors with, you know, any of the things that are in this shed, I probably could. We got a nice big entrance coming in here as well, so we should have no problem getting anything in and out of this building. only work for semis. I downloaded this mod. It's supposed to be a reversing camera for trucks, it says. So I don't know if it's only for like semis or if it would work for like a a grain, you know, it doesn't work for the grain truck, obviously. And I don't think it works for the pickup, so I don't know how it actually works or if it works even. I am going to do some work to this truck in the future. I'm going to look into adding color selection on the box as well. So that way I could choose my color of that. Then I could, you know, change the box to be uh, about the blue that the... A little bit lighter than the blue that the truck is. And then the uh, cab could be red. And then I'd have... Pretty much have my grandpa's old Chevy green truck. You know, the same color scheme and somewhat similar. Oops. We're going through the wall here. There we go. Okay, so now we can reset our combine. And we'll reset our header trailer, our corn head, and our draper header. We'll start off with these items. I actually don't know that this header trailer is going to be big enough for this header. We're going to make it work. That's all I got to say. So drop that there. Does this ladder actually fold out? I don't know. Might, but I bet. I don't know. 
I have no idea. I know on the real ones it does. Or well, not so much the 1660, but I know like a 14 series combine it does. I've been around them before. Actually, a guy that I used to work for a long time ago. Um, he had a... Jeez, what model combine was that now? I don't even remember what model combine that guy had. Uh, maybe a 1460 or something, or 1480. I know it was 14 something. I don't remember exactly what it was. But, I mean, it was an older combine. It was, it was a pretty decent combine. I had only seen it running a couple of times, you know, one, because it was in, when I lived in a small town, um, about an hour from where I live now, he, uh, actually had gone to school with my grandma on my dad's side, and so, kind of knew, you know, of my family in a way, and he, uh, sold nitrogen peas, and I ended up going and helping him with that, uh, basically like bagging them and stuff, and uh, doing odds and ends around his shop and whatever. And I mean, he paid me I think it was like five dollars an hour or something. You know, at that time I was, jeez, I had to be probably. Uh, eight nine not even I don't remember I know I was young but I don't remember exactly how old I was but I mean I know I probably shouldn't have been running a skid steer like I was but because uh, that was he was the one that actually taught me how to run a skid steer because um, I had to run it one day to move some stuff around and I didn't know how, but I learned after that day, so that was kind of fun. But uh, yeah, of course, at that time I'm thinking, you know, jeez, five dollars an hour, you know, I can help him for the day, and I can make, you know, I probably would help him through, you know, four hours or so, four or five hours, you know, I can make twenty, twenty-five dollars, you know, I'm that's awesome for me. But you know, of course, now that's like, jeez. That's nothing, but yeah, it was fun. And he always uh, treated me and all of my sister. Well, at that time there was just me and one of my sisters that was, you know, old enough to. Oh man, old enough to go like you know, go and get a pizza from the gas station or. You know, an ice cream from another gas station and, you know, just stuff like that. We're going to get this Mauer header trailer then since that other one doesn't want to work. But, um, yeah, so it was, it was always fun and uh, I actually saw the guy a couple months ago uh, when I was down there for one of my... Oops, wrong trailer. For uh, one of my cousin's graduation parties, or well, to you know, watch him gra graduate and then to uh, go to his open house and whatever and visit. He happened to be in town for something. I don't remember what exactly, but he uh, happened to be in town and yeah. So here's what I'm talking about. It legs the game when you open the door, but. Uh, whatever I guess but um he happened to be in town and so he was at the open house so uh, was kind of visiting with him and catching up and but uh yeah those are fun times that's for sure oh I don't start this yeah my frames are down to four it's crazy and like it doesn't get better when you look down or anything 
And it only gets better once you stop opening the door. Like once it's fully opened or fully closed. There is no in between. Or well, I mean you can stop it, but like your leg, it doesn't when you're opening the door it doesn't go away until until then. Of course my computer wants to start this crap of kicking me to my home screen. That is really annoying. Alright, so this header should go on this trailer a whole lot nicer than it did uh, that international one. Which that one's kind of meant for a smaller header anyways, I think. There we go. So let's keep the combine out just in case it doesn't stay. In case it decides that it wants to come off. See, I don't know if I'm going to do sunflowers a whole lot. That's why I didn't, like, invest in an actual sunflower header. And so, I mean, if we do, um, you know, grow some sunflowers and stuff, this header, it, I mean, it. I know it's not the most realistic thing to use a corn header to combine sunflowers, but, you know, it can combine sunflowers, so if, uh, if I decide that, you know, uh, let's, let's put some sunflowers in the ground, then, you know, we can, but I'll probably more so just be doing, like, corn and stuff with it, so... And actually, if I wanted to, I could get, I could get the, hmm, I could get the, uh, there is a combine trailer that hooks onto the back of the international grain truck that we could get. And then we could get the uh, oversized customization on the um, on the grain truck. I think we might do that. Uh, but first, let's go ahead. We're gonna clean this up so that way it is nice and clean for our new save game. And then uh, do a couple of items here. Um, so, I do have the bobcat back up here as well. Uh, I did get that brought back. I did that after, at the end of last video, I think. Or, like, after I finished recording uh, yesterday's video. I went and took care of that. Okay, so let's get this truck we'll go ahead we're just gonna pull it just outside well we got to use it to get the uh, pick up the trailer but uh, I need to place this toolbox someplace okay so we got that and then it's in low loaders I believe yes there it is and we want the main color just to be black so I'll go ahead and reset that. Okay, so let's grab this toolbox and we're going to customize this truck to have the oversized sign on it. Cool beans. So now we can sell the toolbox because we don't need it for anything any longer. Or at least not for a while. Um, I think that's what you have to use or what you have to have to do the maintenance on machines and stuff <coughs> but we don't need to do maintenance for a while yet so yikes Just kind of clipping into the tree there so we'll be able to haul our combine to our field with this uh, so let's see enlarge the deck we're gonna put the combine on it just uh, just for fun 
then raise and lower ramps with V, and then X is to lock the load once you get the combine on. Alright, so let's load this beast on the trailer. Cool. Works perfectly. Alright, so now we'll lock the load. So that must be locked. Ooh, not Z. V. Definitely don't want to uh, narrow up the ramps while the combine is on there. That would not be a smart idea. So now we got our combine transport set up as well for once we uh, once we need to harvest and haul our combine. So let's oops, wrong button again. Let's unlock the combine. We're gonna get it off the trailer now and into the shop again. And then we're going to get the uh, combine trailer and the truck put away as well. Uh, and I think, yeah, we should be able to actually fit the uh, combine trailer in the shed. So, which, I mean, anytime that the combine needs to come out, that header trailer is going to need to come out. Or, anytime, yeah. I mean, the combine trailer will come out anytime that the... Uh, header or that the uh, okay never mind I'm sure you get what I'm trying to say that this thing may be in the way kind of but it's gonna come out at the same time as the combine so it doesn't really matter that's what I'm trying to say there we go finally got it okay so we're gonna narrow it up just for storing purposes uh, just to make it a little bit easier or Make it so it takes up a little less room, kind of, and is it a little easier to get in there. Oh man, I did hit the door. I was wondering if I would do that. Okay, now I should miss it. Hmm, I don't think there's actually going to be enough room. Forward. Ah, I got a better idea though. Let's go like this. Let's move this ahead. It's this first time of figuring stuff where stuff should go that is always the pain. And then once you get everything in a spot and figure out a way for it, then it's no problem. It's just that first initial time. So then the combine, we're just going to park, whoa, not in that. The combine, we're going to just pull over here and put right up in front here. Actually, let's whip it around and put it so that way the ladder is in the free area. Kind of a tight fit in here. This shed is nice for like semis and trailers, especially because you can just drive in and drive out. That's one thing that I really like about this shed is, uh, you know, how well it works for <coughs> semis and things like long trailers and whatnot. Okay, so now we should be able to back this truck in to its spot. And then we'll just kind of do a walk around of all of our equipment and then this will be the last time that we play on uh, this save game. Unless I like run into issues for whatever reason uh, while moving save games, but I don't foresee that happening. Alright, so in our big 100 foot by 50 foot shed, we've got our John Deere 8440 with twin wheels, John Deere 7600. Case Agri King 1175, International Transtar 2, Chevrolet C70, Inter Case International 1660 Axial Flow, uh, the Trail Tech, what is that? Trail Tech what? Trail Tech CT220PH. Uh, I'm just going to leave that door open for now. I'll close it 
off camera. In this shed, we have the John Deere 500 grain cart. John Deere uh, 70, 7200 16 row 30 inch spacing corn planter. Our Stilla or whatever, our sprayer. Our sunflower 1435 uh, disc. Our Great Plains 3S 3000 HD grain drill. Uh, underneath this canopy, we have the PJ 40 foot gooseneck trailer, Mauer header trailer with the 12 row case corn header, MacDon FD 75 35 foot draper header with the built in trailer. We've got our seed tank, our liquid fertilizer tank, our Thunder Creek FST 990 fuel trailer, pressure washer. Our uh, Sakandayak. That might not be a good thing to have next to that. Uh, unloading auger. Over there in the distance, we have our Farm King grain auger. In. It'll let me out of there. In our garage, we have our Dodge Ram 2500. Our Bobcat T770 with JC bucket, JCB bucket, and then a Caterpillar front blade for our snow removal. So, I'm going to get everything transferred over to our new save game. And uh, I'm going to get all of the things set up for uh, running new land and all of that stuff. Uh, so get the uh, Google Sheets document all set up as well and then tomorrow we'll be on the new save game and we will start our spring tillage thanks for watching you guys as always if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always we will see you tomorrow.